State and federal leaders meeting in St. George to discuss the issues surrounding water here in Utah. ABC4 Southern Utah correspondent Jordan Verdadero has more on the outlook. It's a full house with more than 800 state leaders taking a closer look at Utah's water issues. Gives us an update this time of year to understand what the water supply is going to look like for the upcoming year. They're meeting for the annual water users conference and of course the drought is the number one concern. Uh, Lake Powell's lower than it's ever been, Lake Mead's lower than it's ever been, the Great Salt Lake lower than it's ever been. And uh, though we have a, a pretty good projection on our snowpack, which is above 90%, we still believe the runoff will be in the 70% range which really creates some concern for all water users. So the one thing that we've learned th during this drought scenario is how important reservoirs are in storing water. Nearly $500 million worth of legislative bills have been passed this year. Leaders say now there are firmer regulations with water conservation. House Bill 39 requires more efficient plumbing fixtures in updated construction codes, and Senate Bill 89 modifies water conservation plan requirements. So most cities right now within the state of Utah have general plans, and they talk about where they want the growth to occur. Now this is just adding another element saying, where are you going to get the water for that growth to occur? Gene Shawcroft, Utah's Colorado River Commissioner, says House Bill 242 will require the metering of secondary water systems for untreated water, which wasn't measured at households before. It's been measured as it flows into the system, but this will allow residents to understand exactly how much water they use, and by measuring, uh, there's no question that, that uh, the efficiency will go, will go up. While the bodies of water Utah relies on are at historic lows, leaders say with these bills, they are hopeful as the state continues to grow. Reporting in St. George, Jordan Verdadero, ABC4 News.